This week in reading, we are going to focus on tall tales and character interaction. So the very first thing that we're going to do is watch this brain pop about characters. It's also going to talk about dialogue because dialogue goes along with character interaction. Cassie and Rita were at the beach that day. As they sat in the water, they were surprised to see a large shark fin crossing in front of them. Excited, Cassie turned to Rita and said, Oh, did you see the size of that fin? What? Don't, don't you read your writing out loud? Dear Tim and Moby, How do I write dialogue? From Sonia. When you write what a character says using their exact words, it's called dialogue. Dialogue appears in comic books, screenplays, novels, newspaper articles, pretty much anywhere you see stories in print. Well, the way that dialogue is written depends on its context. In comics, dialogue often appears in word balloons. <sighs> He's always taking my stuff. In screenplays, or scripts for things like films and TV shows, dialogue shows up centered right under the name of the character doing the talking. But let's focus on dialogue that appears in prose, the kind of writing found in novels, newspaper and magazine articles, and all those writing assignments you do for school. In prose writing, dialogue is put into quotation marks. To make it clear who's saying the dialogue, we add a speech tag. That's just any phrase that identifies the speaker, like then Tim said. These can go before, after, or in the middle of a line of dialogue. Well, whenever a different character starts speaking, you need to start a new paragraph. Oh, yeah, there are some other rules, too. Check out our features to find out more. The most important thing, though, is to make sure your dialogue sounds natural, like something people would actually say in real life. It is a shark. See, while it is a shark may be grammatically correct, it's not really something Cassie would say, or anybody else for that matter. Plus, we can see the fin, so Cassie doesn't need to tell us it's there. You want a character's words to reveal her personality. I know that Cassie's really into sharks, so she should sound more excited. Whoa, did you see the size of that fin? Much better. The same thing goes for Rita's line. I think we should go. She's the sensible one, so it makes sense that she wants to leave. But we can add more force to her feelings by having her say... Let's get out of here. Okay, so they begin to swim away, and then you pop out of the water with a shark fin on your back and say beep, and the girls say together, you tricked us, and... What do you mean you would never say that? You said beep. That's what you say. Oh, Moby, you're so complex. <laughs> So let's try to take the quiz. We'll do graded. One, what is dialogue? You are going to write this on your whiteboard if you are at school. And if you're at home, you can write it on a piece of paper or whiteboard if you have it. And all you have to do is write either A, B, C, or D. So number one, what is dialogue? A, a summary of several people's or characters' words. B, a few people's or characters' exact words. C, a description of a person's person or character's thoughts. D, a description of people's or characters' appearance. If you need more time, you can pause the video. I'm just going to go down each letter and click on the answer. If it is correct, it'll tell us it's correct. If it's not, it will cross it off. Starting with A. A is not correct. B is our correct answer. It is a summary. Oh. All right, number two. In which of the following works might you find dialogue presented in word balloons? A. Free Comic Book Day, Spider-Man. B, War and Peace. C, Cedarhurst Valley, screenplay by Ringlander Jr. From the, from the novel, 
by Denshin Hatch, or D, the New York Times. Starting with A, so correct answer. Number three, what can you infer about, about dialogue in comic books? Remember, an inference is an educated guess. A, it rarely represents the character's exact words. B, it rarely includes speech tags. C, it rarely includes slang words. Or D, it rarely advances the plot. Rarely means almost never. Starting with A, not our answer. B is the correct answer. Number four, which of the following examples shows dialogue with a speech tag? These pretzels make me thirsty. B, Rita, these, pap these pretzels are making me thirsty. C, Rita mentioned that the pretzels were making her thirsty. Or D, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Rita said. Starting at A, not our correct answer. B, not the answer. C, not the answer. Was Lisa's with D, our correct answer. Number five, if you saw dialogue centered centered directly under a character's name, what would you probably be reading? A, a comic book. B, a newspaper article. C, a screenplay. Or D, a novel. Starting at, starting at A, Not our correct answer. B, not the correct answer. C, is our correct answer. Number six, which of the following punctuation marks indicate that dialogue is occurring in a work of prose? A, B, C, or D? Starting at A, not the correct answer. B is our correct answer. Number seven, what might happen if prose writers did not include speech tags along with their dialogue? A, readers would be confused over who's speaking. B, the dialogue would not represent the person or character's exact words. C, they'd have to use word bubbles instead. Or D quotation marks would not be necessary. Starting at A, A is our correct answer. Number eight, if you're writing prose that contains dialogue, when must you begin a new paragraph? A, whenever a different character begins speaking. B, at the end of every sentence. C, before every speech tag, or D, after every comma. Starting at A, A is our correct answer. Number nine, which of the following terms best describes how dialogue should sound? A, vulgar, B, fantastic, C, authentic, or D, poetic. Starting at number nine, sorry, starting at A. A is not our answer. B is not our answer. C is the correct answer. Authentic, it should sound real, just like the real person. 
Number 10, which of these lines of dialogue sounds the most realistic? I do not wish, wish to touch or handle poisonous snakes. B, I am opposed to the idea of touching and handling po poisonous snakes. C, touching poisonous snakes or handling them is anathema to my nature. Or D, ah, get that poisonous snake away from me. Which one would someone actually say? Starting at A, no, B, no, C, no. That means our correct answer is D. So how'd you do? Let me know in the comments. We are now going to move on to today's read aloud. And then you'll do your word study and your assignment. <laughs> 